I love crystals. Let's talk, let's talk a bit about uh, the new abilities of individual generation. Psychic abilities, telepathic abilities. All right. I don't like the word psychic. Uh, what I do like is intuitive. And um, if I was to describe myself to you, as far as um, intuitive abilities, I would describe it like this. Remember the old series Columbo, Peter Falk? He'd be scratching his head and thinking, right? That would be me. So if I was to hold this at a crime scene, and it's uh, the evidence from um, a crime scene that happened, and I'm supposed to get an impressionable thought of who the killer was. I'll be holding this thing, and it may not happen then, which bugs me, by the way. But it'll happen 10 minutes into a drive home. It'll finally hit me, like, poof, I got it. Okay, what's so-and-so? da 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 da, -da. I, I got all my answers that way. Uh, sometimes... Um, Actually, when I'm driving a car, I get a lot of psychic um, or intuitive thoughts. They give me the answers I need, um, which is handy in a way. Like, I mean, if somebody you think is your friend, and all of a sudden, boof, it hits you. And you get everything right in front of you, right? Now, he's not your friend. He's, um, he's, he's a snake, and he's watching you, and he's using you, and he's... he's uh, his intentions are, are not that good. And um, it's handy to know, right? You could even play these people too, right? You could take them for a ride. Just as they think that they're taking you for a ride. And it's like the, what my favorite saying is, the hunted becomes the hunter, right? But anyway, that's if you want to play that game, right? Best thing to do is just walk away. Um, psychic abilities, telepathy. Yeah. I have a degree of telepathy. Is it a strong degree? No, well, not as strong as I'd want it to be. Um, but then again, can I handle that want, want it to be? Because I'd hear everything, right? It'd be um, a lot of voices in, coming into your head. But I do believe in positive affirmations and speech. Okay? When you speak out aloud, you're sending your thought wave to the universe. Be it good or be it bad. Hopefully it's more good than bad. Just something to work on, by the way. Um, so I have minor abilities. I guess intuitiveness. Uh, telepathy. To a degree. And I get lucky a lot of time. Um, my favorite psychics or intuitive people. Edgar Casey, the guy who was sleeping all the time. Got his own answer sleeping. Um... Everybody likes Nostradamus. I like Casey. Um, as far as psychic ability, I've seen one time in my life, I've seen somebody bend a spoon. That's amazing. That's um, power of mind, right? Psychokinetic energy. I don't have that. But I know people, well, let's say I've seen it happen um, before, which is pretty amazing. Um, I think that after the shift, I think certain people will have these abilities. If I want to take a drink of my coffee, I, I, I don't have to bring my hand towards the cup. I'll just float the cup to my mouth and take a drink of coffee, you know. I think for certain people, it'll be like that. I think um, there's a lot of people that do that already, that are, are hidden. There's um, yogis in India. Apparently, when they meditate, they levitate. Meditate, levitate, um, which is cool, right? Um, so a lot of people on the earth have a lot of gifts. We're all unique in every way. When you have a gift, though, be humble. Don't exploit it. And um, be wise with it. Sure, why not? Um, I wonder if they're going to kill me if I use their names. Um, okay. No, no. Uh, if you doubt, then 
don't use a name, just mention the experience. Okay, sure. There's one person I hold very high. He's, I, I call him my brother. Um, I consider him like a brother, my spiritual brother. He's taught me a lot about spirituality, and he's told me, or he's uh, pointed me in the right direction many times uh, about other spiritual teachers that I haven't met. Spiritual teacher like Jose Arguelles, um, a David Wilcox, and Alex Collier, people like that. This man, I used to go see. We still have a, have a, um, we still are in contact. We still are friends, and he's an amazing person. This person is, uh, I can't describe the words to describe this man. He's a beautiful human being, so that would be one. Another person you say about shaman, yeah, I know two shamans. I know a person, he's about 60 years old. He's very wise. He's beautiful as a human being. I know another shaman, he's about the same age. And um, his knowledge is incredible. And just think sacred sevens from there. Um, amazing man. He's taught me. He's taught me to be humble. And um, humility is beautiful. He taught me to be a human being, more of a human being. He taught me to forgive. Which brings me another thing in life. Sometimes you have things happen to you in your life for a reason. You know, 10 years ago, somebody hit me in the face. I'd probably hit him right back, real quick, too. Nowadays, I might laugh at him. Which might stun them. So, I mean... There are people there that come in your life for different reasons and they teach you different things.